Keeping your characters consistent across images and animations is one of the toughest challenges in animation work. But not anymore. By the time you finish this video, that process will feel simple. In this video, I will walk you through a complete step-by-step -step method to make your characters match perfectly using Whisk's hidden features. We will begin with a simple story idea, turn it into a working script, lay out the scenes, and then bring them to life as images and videos that actually match every single time. Everything is shown clearly, with nothing skipped. And to make things easier, I have included the full prompts guide in the comments. Just follow along and see how it all fits together. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the latest updates. So, without further delay, let's get started. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to give you 3D DreamWorks style adventurous animation short story ideas with three characters. Within a few seconds, we will have the story ideas. If those ideas are not perfect, you can ask for more by providing a few extra details. And now, we have some interesting and amazing story ideas. This one looks promising, so I will copy it. Simply paste it here and press the enter button. Now we have a complete story breakdown, including the characters. Next, I will ask it to give me a short story with 8 to 10 scenes. Here we have the short story with 10 scenes. As you know, character consistency is important for any story, so I will ask ChatGPT to define the characters first and then give me prompts that help to keep their appearance consistent throughout the scenes. And here we have our character details based on this story. Once the characters are defined, I will ask it to generate prompts for each scene, keeping the character consistency intact. And here are the scene prompts. To get better results, I will now ask it to give separate prompts for images and videos. And now we have separate prompts for both. Whisk is a great tool for generating stunning, high-quality images. You can even use it for free with the Flow subscription. You can watch my previous video on the channel to access this tool. Click on this button to start using the tool. Copy the first image prompt. And paste it here. Choose the Landscape Aspect Ratio. You can enable the Nano Banana option to enhance image quality. Click this button to generate the image. And here we have the first scene image. Both images look good, except for an extra character in the first one. So I will delete the first image and keep this one as our final image for scene one. Here comes one of the most powerful features of this tool. On the left side, under Subject, Scene, and Style, we can upload reference images. These can be used to generate consistent character and scene visuals. Just drag the selected image as a reference and upload it to all three sections. You can also upload more images from other resources, but I will focus only on using this tool. I have now uploaded the image for all three options. For the next scene, I will copy the text prompt and paste it here. Click the Generate button. And here are the images for our second scene. Except for some minor clothing differences based on the scene, the facial features remain the same, keeping the characters consistent. I will delete this image and keep this one as our second scene. Copy the third scene prompt and paste it. This scene takes place in an Amazon jungle background, so I will replace the style image accordingly. I will also change the subject and scene images. You could reuse the subject image if you prefer, but I will update it here. Click this button to generate the image. Look at the output. These images are visually consistent and follow the story setting. Now, copy the fourth scene prompt and paste it here. Again, we get a consistent result. Following this same process, I will generate all the remaining scene images one by one. And now we have all the scene images, and you can clearly see the character consistency throughout the story. To make the entire story perfectly consistent, I will regenerate the first scene image. And this one looks perfect. 
The reason to delete extra images is that you can download all your images in one place by choosing this option. To start generating videos, click the Animate button. Copy the video text prompt. Paste it here. Click the Generate Video button. And here is the result. Look out! The output looks slightly inconsistent. For better results, head over to the official VEO3 tool on the Flow website. Choose the Frames to Video option. Upload the first scene image. And click on this Save button. Paste your video prompt text. Choose the latest VEO 3.1 model and set the number of videos per generation. Click Generate and wait a couple of minutes. And here we have the video for our first scene. Hold on! We're gonna capsize! We have to turn! The result looks amazing. I will generate all scene videos this way and edit them in CapCut. After editing, here is the final output video. Hey Theo, look on the bright side. At least you're popular with the locals. Bet you can't swat them all, Theo. Shut up, Luis, I'm serious. Less talking, more walking. I don't like this, it's too high. Don't be such a baby, it's perfectly safe! Whoa. Haha, <laughs> hey, maybe we should sing a song to keep our spirits up. Look, the rope! Hang, Hang on. on! Look out! I've got you, don't let go! Luis! I can't believe we actually made it! <laughs> First Uber ever! Some places aren't meant to be found, only survived. In my upcoming video, I will be testing the Sora 2 video generator for animations. One last wave. What do you think about this method for character consistency? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.